hospital. And when she got home, she wrote a song. It's called 50,000 People Can't Be Wrong. And it goes on iTunes tomorrow. Let's make it number one by the end of the week. Get sharing. We've had support from a number of unions, but I have to say the support we've had from Unite has been fantastic. And the next speaker is Peter Kavanagh, who's the London Regional Secretary of Unite. Peter. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers, and greetings from Unite the Union, the Fighting Back Union. At a time when our city is set to grow in its population by a million people, at a time when our population is ageing, and crucially, at a time when the policies of this government are forcing the poverty gap wider and wider with all the related issues about poverty-related illness. Why are they cutting services? Why are they cutting beds? Why are they cutting jobs in the health service? The answer's simple. This mob over here are waging a class war, a class war against ordinary people, a class war against the needy and the vulnerable and the sick and the elderly and workers in workplaces who are struggling to fight back. This mob over here, these public schoolboys without a mandate, these millionaire ministers, they don't speak for us, they have no mandate to do what they're doing. But what they're doing is straightforward. They're dismantling our health service before our very eyes. When 150 lords down just down the road there a couple of weeks ago voted to uh, bring in legislation to start the dismantling and the privatisation of our health service, 150 who voted for that legislation just happened to be major shareholders with private health companies. That's a disgrace, it's a shame, and we need to expose them. But don't worry, colleagues. The pigs have already got their snouts in the trough. Richard Branson's Virgin have already earned £200 million from running health services, including GP surgeries. Major hospitals are run from companies in offshore tax havens. It's an absolute disgrace. Trade unions and community organisations are well used to managing change in our changing world. But I'm making a pledge today. Unite the Union will not be managing this sort of change when it's the decimation of jobs, when it's the destruction of services. We're going to fight that change. Unite the Union is very clear about this. If it takes, if it takes civil disobedience, then civil disobedience it is. It took civil disobedience to bring down that racist, violent, murderous regime in South Africa. It took civil disobedience to win the vote for women. And it took civil disobedience to get rid of the poll tax and that rich Thatcher. And it'll be civil disobedience that will win this one back. We're quite clear. The fight is on. Let's get out there and educate, agitate, organise. If we strike back, if we organise strikes in our hospitals, occupations, sit-ins, work-ins, that's what we need to do, colleagues. Let's move on, all together, unity, let's fight back. Yeah.